got this gas in. All right, what's going on guys? John back here with another video. Today, what we are doing is we're gonna be installing some roof racks on the Wagon WRX. So I hope you guys are pumped for that. I got the roof racks right here. Got them from my boy Bob. So shout out Bob and Christine for the roof racks. There's not many tutorials on YouTube on how to do this. So if you guys are looking to put some you know, roof racks on your wagon or whatever Impreza, uh, this video might be for you. It's gonna show you how to do that. So cool, they should fit the wagon. Uh, got the regular like bars that run along the sides and then the crossbars here. So yeah. I already took off the piece that was here covering basically where we have to put the roof racks, but it looks like the previous owner, or one of the previous owners, they'll say, uh, I don't even know, like glued in the spots where the screws are supposed to go in, whatever you want to call it. So I don't know. We're going to have to, uh, I guess, do some digging, see what's good. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go work on that, and then we can throw these on. So yeah, let's get right into it. Like I said, there's some adhesive or something like that covering up these holes, so we're going to go ahead and use this. Hopefully we don't light it on fire. I'm kind of winging it here. It's like 30 degrees outside, so that's fine. A little bit of heat, she's coming right off. I'm gonna need a little bit more heat here. Hold up. That just caught on fire. Nice. Working all this garbage out of here so we can put these roof racks in. Gonna be mint. I don't know why you'd want a roof rack lead on this thing. Roof racks are fire, right? There's it. This, this thing's garbage. It's so annoying. I wish it was just gone. Intended to delete inbound soon. All right, guys. So now I got all that crap out of the, uh, you know, little rails here. You can actually put them on. So basically they'll look like this. Once they're on, I'm gonna go inside and we're gonna get to you taking apart the headliner, essentially. Not really the headliner, but some pieces. Uh, you gotta do like the seatbelt buckles, this thing, and I don't know, a few other things. But get ready. First things first, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put down the back seats to get these things in. Next up, you're gonna wanna get like a pry tool of some sort. I got this thing, whatever. So you're gonna wanna hop in here and you're gonna see that there is the seatbelt buckle here and seatbelt buckle here. So you're gonna wanna take this piece off like that, and then the same thing with this one. You might need to use a pry tool here, just pop it off, just like that, and it's off. And then same thing with the other side, like that. There's no other third seatbelt over here. So now I believe it's a 14 mil for all those. Go ahead and crack those loose. Grab your 14 here, and you might need to use like a regular socket um, just to crack it loose, because they might be on there. It's a little bit tight, but I assure you, you can get it off if we turn this wrench the correct way. So once you crack it, Oh god, like that. And you can go ahead and take your electric tool here and take it out. Just like that. And then just do the same thing with the other two. Next up, you're going to want to take off here. There's a Phillips head. And same thing with right here. There's a Phillips head. Just go ahead and unscrew those. And this is so we're going to be able to take off this plastic piece here so we can get underneath. So just like that. And just like that. Okay. Now you should be able to pull away this thing here and have some access to the top part where you can actually bolt them in. So let's do that. Oh God, that was pain in my. Anyway, we got it off. So now we have access to the spots that we're gonna need to drill or uh, put bolts on. All right guys, so basically the two threads that you're gonna thread the bolts onto are coming through here now. So you're gonna be able to thread the bolt on and they are one right here and the other one's literally right here. So they're both literally like right next to each other. So right there, as you can see coming through and then right there. So those are the two bolts that you're gonna put nuts onto and then you'll be able to get this uh, side done. I'm putting on the roof racks right now and I'm actually putting some silicone, I guess you could say it is. Uh, yeah, it's silicone RTV, Mopar. Uh, so yeah, Mopar, no car. But no, I'm putting it on basically where the, the bolts come through. I'm putting them like right on the edges where it's gonna meet with the, the rail so that we get no uh, leaks of water or anything like that. And yeah, we'll be mint with that. All right, so we got this side bolted in. Clearly not going anywhere, so that's good. 
Now we're gonna move to the front side. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And then we'll have this one side completely done. For doing the front front part of the racks, all you really need to do is you're gonna need to take off this A pillar here. Visor is gonna come off and then this uh, handle as well. And then also uh, this this trim piece here on the seatbelt buckle. So we're gonna get to doing all that. Probably take us like five minutes to get this all done. So not too bad. So basically you're gonna to wanna to just go ahead and pull that off like that. You basically just pry it off and there's like two little clips on both the top and bottom. And then it's just a Phillips head. So go ahead and just repeat that, same step. All right, so we went ahead and took off this. Like I said, it's just a two Phillips head there. And then the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and take off the visor. It's three Phillips heads, so go ahead and take that off. Went ahead and took the visor off, it was just the three screws. Next piece we're gonna take off is just the A pillar here. So we're just gonna go ahead and pry that. I have a mic right here, so I'm gonna try and be careful with that. It should just pull right off like so, and pull it out. And then the mic we'll just put over there. But yeah, so that's the A pillar, cool, super easy. And then the next piece that we're gonna do here is gonna be this last side piece here. So like I said, all you have to do for this really is just kinda get your little pry tool in between the seatbelt buckle part here, pry that off. And then you're gonna take your 14 mil and take that right off. So I went ahead and took that off with the 14 mil. And then the next part you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take this out. Now, there's a clip down at the very bottom that you have to pull it out. So you pull it out and then up, basically. So now, we can just go ahead and pull it up once we pull it out enough, like this. Takes a little bit of finessing, but just like that. So yeah, there's a little yellow clip down there that basically this goes onto. So you wanna go pull it out and then up. And it'll come right out. All right, so after fighting with your demons on trying to get this uh, 10 mil bracket thing out right here, this is the bracket that you have to take out. It literally sit up there like this, and you need to get the 10 mils right here out, and it is in the butt. But you're gonna get it done, and then once you do, you can go ahead and put your two nuts on and put your roof racks on now, because now you have access to it. Am I gonna put that thing back on? Absolutely not, never again. Not gonna do it. I don't care, I don't even know what it does. It, I don't need it. I'm gonna weight savings, you know? They said that you can save weight with rust. I'm saving weight with never putting that thing back in. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and throw these uh, nuts on there. Going well. All right, so once you go ahead and you can you tighten those two down, the 10 mils, you can come out to the outside now and you're gonna see your fully bolted down roof rack. Come on out here. All right guys, so we got the, the roof rack bolted down on. Look at that. This thing's ready for anything it, I wanna put on it, including myself. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead do the other side. I'm not gonna record it because you guys don't wanna see that. Hasha might run to Walmart and maybe cop a headliner for us because maybe we'll just redo the headliner while we're at it, right? Because why not? But yeah, it's freezing cold today, guys. Love it out here in Pennsylvania, by the way. Making videos out here, 30 degree weather for you guys. And uh, yeah, you know, I just love it out here. I love it. Awesome. All right, so we're kind of doing two videos in one. If you guys were curious on how to take the full headliner off, basically you're already like 90% of the way there. All you have to do is pop off this clip here, this clip here, and then this light, and that light, and then there's also one more little visor here, one, one screw and one clip. So yeah, you're gonna pop this light off, pop that light off, and then the headliner literally comes out. So we're gonna redo the headliner because this thing's gross. We're gonna redo it black. So yeah, we're gonna see what happens. All right guys, so we got the roof racks on. They are ready to hold whatever we throw at it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the crossbars on as well because why not have those on, right? So yeah, that's cool, we got them on. Wasn't too bad of a process. I hope you guys learned something if you watched the video all the way through. Thank you guys so much. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment for what you guys wanna see next with the Bug IWRX. The next video that we're gonna be making with this thing is gonna be doing the valve cover gasket because it is presumably leaking. So um, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and also do the headliner because we have that out. We're gonna go ahead and grab some some liner and we're gonna redo the headliner because it looks absolutely gross. And you know, be a cool DIY one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, like I said, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. By the way, these crossbars, uh, these are star keys, not Allen head, but you know, it's fine. We make things work around here, all right?